Hi, my name is Max and I'm a rising sophomore at the Harker School. Um, my project is a gesture control block that works by recording the um, directions of my gestures and using that as a password. And if I input the password of the gestures correctly, um, then the servo here will be triggered to rotate and unlock. Um, so for my final milestone, um, I decided to make multiple timers for my project. Um, that basically helped me to um, determine how much time I took to open lock and do the entire password sequence. Um, so at any point um, in the password sequence, if I exceed a time limit of 30 seconds, um, then um, the server will be triggered to lock automatically and like reset all my progress. Um, and all of the information will be displayed on the LCD here, how much time I took. Um, so I used that reset function that I searched up in order to implement this which basically um, reset the entire pro program from scratch. Um, and I also have another timer that just tracks the total time so that when I do unlock it correctly, um, it opposite it here again. Um, so yeah, these timers give an added challenge to open the lock, which is very useful. Um, and in, or in order to make these timers, I had to experiment with it in Arduino. I found yeah. multiple um, examples and I had realized I needed to make variables in order to make it work. Um, yeah, so I also modified my project into a safe so that the lock would have more of a purpose here. Um, yeah, so all of my modifications have made the lock more challenging and interesting to complete properly. Um, so to demonstrate it real quick. So I did it incorrectly, so I have to restart, which I should open here. Yeah, so the servo unlocks here, and it says enter now, um, and it will automatically close within like 15 seconds. It also outputs the um, time it took. Um, so in a few seconds, it should just close up the same.